Three weeks with pop surrealism. First impressions of the absurd. It has been three weeks since I drew the hoistu cat. And last week I added the realism component that makes low brow so fascinating. I think the biggest lesson that I have learned is to keep things simple. The absurd can quickly get out of control. It is waiting for you to trip up when you make something too complex. You can paint a person and their dog, but it is not a good idea to switch them in any way for any reason. Pop surrealism demands simplicity. Embrace it. Even with this enormous warning, pop surrealism absolutely is the most beautiful form of art. Not realism, not the cheerful colors of impressionism, nor the step towards abstract of post-impressionism. Pop surrealism is it. It is one of humanity's most precious inventions. We may look back at Mona Lisa and wander in awe, but when we glance at lowbrow, we will burst out in laughter. What an enormous power to have, and it is not just about people of today. People thousands of years from now will be giggling at our art. Lowbrow art, pop surrealism, has the power to make someone a thousand years from now lose it. The work in the title image is yet another response to Reddit Gets Drawn, and it does come along with a time-lapse video. While painting it, I laughed in ways that I can't even describe. It certainly is the most foolish thing I have ever created. And I really wish that every person would take to art just to experience that kind of laughter. Long before we take to the stars, we will have built countless worlds. Each painting is a birth of a really interesting universe. Anything silly can give birth to a new idea, be it a silly puppy or a funny word Art will take it so far out there that you will find yourself smiling and laughing. Art is not just for the artist. Just like doing a little dance or humming a neat little song or cheerfully prancing around or whistling, art is part of the experience of life. And just like we have to practice a dance move and take a while to learn how to whistle, we have to learn how to trace and as a result, how to draw and create art. It is not so much about showing the world who we are, but about showing the world that we are. 